What's good guys, Tiger here, welcome to the channel. I have completed the next weapon gold, I have moved on to the LMGs, and the first LMG on my list was the PKM. This weapon is amazing, I really did enjoy using it. I think the LMGs are underrated, not many people are using it. And in order to complete these challenges, it was super easy, I was so surprised how easy these camo challenges were to complete. They were the fastest I've ever completed any weapon, very, very easy. And the PKM in particular just packs a punch. This weapon really is so deadly. Now, I did have to change my playstyle up a bit in order to use this weapon and get it right. You are gonna see a bit of camper nation going on. I was chilling. You're gonna see me mounted up, so I'm sorry if it looks like I'm camping because I am, I can't help it guys. When you're playing Shoot House or Shipment, what was some of the game modes I was playing, you really do just have to sit back and chill if you want to compete against some of these fast firing weapons, some of the top weapons like the MP5 and the M4. Nonetheless, this weapon was dope and let's get straight into the class that I was using. So I had a barrel, reflex sight, stock, grip tape and under barrel. And honestly guys, these attachments are just insane. I cannot believe at how good they are. I swear by this class so much. It was so powerful. These attachments are just amazing. So I've got the 18 inch compact barrel. What's giving me a aim down sight speed buff, a movement speed buff at the cost of recoil control and bullet velocity. I've got the monocle reflex sight and out of all the reflex sights, this one is one of my favorites. It really does have a good field of view. You can see a lot going on. So a really big reflex sight, and I think it's really nice while aiming down sight. So I'm a big fan of that reflex sight. I think it's really good for long ranged weapons. And then I've got no stock, what I think is really, really good. I was able to try out this weapon with no stock when I was playing the 2v2 gunfight mode, and I just thought it was insane with a really fast aim down sight speed, considering this is an LMG. So getting those big buffs to your movement speed and your aim down sight speed at the cost of aiming stability and recoil control, I think is absolutely fine. You do feel the increase in recoil control because this is one of those attachments that does have big buffs and nerfs, but it is definitely worth it, especially with the playstyle I was using for this weapon. Then I've got the stippled grip tape, another buff to aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed at the cost of aiming stability. And then I have the snatch grip, which just looks to be one of the best attachments that you could ever put on a weapon. Getting a buff to your recoil control and aim down sight speed in a single attachment is just absolutely insane. At the cost of movement speed, well it's absolutely fine because we've already got two buffs to movement speed. They've called it the snatch grip because you are just snatching heads. You are snatching wigs, you are snatching those heads clean off because this weapon is just deadly and I'm just so happy with these attachments. They just make this weapon into an absolute monster. When you think of your stereotypical LMG, it's this really heavy weapon that has a horrible aim down sight speed, it deals good damage and has a really big magazine size and a really slow reload time. Now a lot of that is true with this one, this is a very typical LMG, the damage is very very high, the recoil is fairly easy to control and you can get those long range shots when you're playing ground war just by burst firing this weapon, very very easy. Being accurate with this weapon I just think is really easy overall but the most surprising thing about this weapon is the aim down sight speed. Honestly with all of these attachments you are basically turning this weapon into an OP assault rifle. Only downside of this weapon is of course the reload speed. You really do just need to sit in a corner, maybe just put the controller down, go out get a drink, go to the toilet, come back and then you'll be nearly finished reloading. That is its biggest weakness but everything else, this weapon is just godlike. I cannot express it enough. I love this weapon. There are just so many good weapons in Modern Warfare. Even though you do see people using the most popular weapons like the M4, the MP5, the M13 has had a buff now and a lot of people are probably going to start using that. I do think you can use so many weapons 
and just do absolutely insane in this game. If you think about it, there are still lots of people using lots of different weapons. You've got people using snipers, the marksman rifles, lots of different subs, lots of different assault rifles. It really is good to see and I do think that the balancing has been fairly good for Modern Warfare. I do think Infinity Ward are doing a good job with balancing this game. There is nothing that is broken at the moment in this game. The shotguns, even though they are strong, there are lots of weapons that are strong in this game and they aren't absurd like they used to. Like the 725 shotgun was just broken. It was just completely impossible. But now it's in a fairly decent place and and every weapon has its place. There's so many strong weapons and I think it's a very decent meta at the moment. And I think they will continue to do well. Now the challenges that you need to complete are all fairly easy and basic. There's nothing out of the ordinary. You just need the typical kills, headshots, crouch kills, hip fire kills, long shots, mounted kills. Kills with five attachments, no attachments, double kills and then going on three kill streaks. So there's nothing out of the ordinary there, and the amounts that you need are fairly low. They're slightly higher than the marksman rifles, but because these are fully automatic weapons, and they are just overall easier weapons to use than the marksman rifles, you should be able to complete the LMGs a lot easier than the marksman rifles and a lot of the other categories as well, because the amounts are fairly low in comparison to the submachine guns and the assault rifles. So overall, I think this weapon is about an 8 out of 10, maybe a 9 out of 10. I do think it's very, very strong. Doesn't really have that many flaws or weaknesses, in my opinion. Very strong weapon, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Try out this class, it really is dominant. But that is it for today's video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did and you want to see more, consider subscribing and turning on notifications to stay updated on all of my latest content. But that's all from me. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.